Democratic strategist Andrea Tenteros, conservative columnist. Both are Fox News contributors. And good morning to both of you. Good, good morning. morning. 66 Bill. billion in spending cuts. Now, have Republicans taken this issue, Andrea? Uh, have, have they taken it from Democrats? Are they the ones talking about it, or is yeah. there a risk in here? No, they have. They've absolutely taken it. Dem's strategy, I believe, is to run out the clock on this one, right? They've created this problem, and now they don't have the guts to fix it. They're hoping, Bill, I believe that they can win this message war and paint the Republicans as evil people who want to take away Granny's Medicare, and I just don't think it's going to work. You know, uh, Democrats lost the message war uh, when it came to health care reform, and I think they're going to lose again because this time around, the American people get that there's a serious deficit problem in this country, and I think the best thing that's going to help Republicans are these battles in the states. I think when they see these fights happening in New Jersey and Wisconsin, they get that entitlement spending is out of control, unions are big problems, and as long as Republicans can link yeah. cutting and not raising taxes to growing the overall economy, I think they're going to win right, this That's one. interesting. Bob, now, do you view Andrea as evil? <laughs> Yes. I, I, I love her. In the short run, they're winning this battle. In the longer run, there will be, in my view, a government shutdown. And in that case, the Republicans just simply can't win. The other thing is, as the particulars of this get out... they get defensive at that point? Do, do, do they figure, well, Republicans are to blame for this? You know, it's always been a very uh, a very tricky thing for Republicans to talk about entitlement reform because you look at the polling and people say the deficit's a big problem. We're paying 40 cents on the dollar in interest. We don't want to end up like Greece. But then you ask them, well, what do you want to be cut? And they say, well, no, don't cut my Medicare, don't cut my Social Security. So I think it's tough. Usually the right choice is the toughest and the least politically popular. But again, I think we're in different times. So I think Republicans, if they, as long as they continue to keep on this message track of convincing them that it would be irresponsible to continue down this road and that we're managing catastrophe, they can win. But I do agree, it's not a slam dunk for Republicans. It's very, very hard to cut popular programs. Yeah, in the meantime, yeah, it, you, you have 87 House freshmen mm -hmm. who are dragging the leadership, kicking and screaming. Exactly. They are the ones who are dictating policy in the House on spending. Abso absolutely. Look, when, when, when the Speaker of the House, a lot of Paul's petty politics. Now, the only way you can do that is they have to jump off that board together. I agree with Andrea. Look, if the Republicans did it by themselves, we'd be all over them. If we did it by themselves, by ourselves, Republicans would be all over us. The big things that happen in American politics, big things, happen when they, in a bipartisan way. That's the only way it's going to happen. And Bill, I would add it's too soon, as we both agree, to have a winner or loser in this situation, unlike Mondays, yeah. where we always know who wins and who loses, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, is that, is that, I guess, I, I'm sorry, I that went right over my head. Head. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a football player. The, the but evil I, one. I'll explain it to uh, you after. <laughs> that, you, evil words again. Evil words. All right, we'll see y'all. Take you, care. Andrea. Bye. You Happy got Monday. it. Have a good Monday. You got it. All right. Well,